All right. Uh, thank you for putting up with me for the fifth time. Uh, so I'll remind you where we were this morning. There was the result going back to uh, nearly 20 years ago. Uh, so we had this theorem that if we take a vibration and we assume that for all the closed points in P1K, there's a component of multiplicity one with this abelian splitting condition. If we assume Shinsen's hypothesis, then if there's no Brahman abstraction for the total space, we can find a fiber such that there is points ever locally on the fiber. So this is the this is the old theorem, and this dependent on Shinsen's hypothesis. And then we had uh, the, the hypothesis put forward by Harpas and Wittenberg to replace uh, Shinsen's hypothesis in the case when we're interested in fibers where we want to get rid of this splitting, this abelian splitting condition. So the new hypothesis looks like this. We have a number field. We have elements in the number field. We look at a system given by T minus EI equals ci in the number field times the norm. So the variables are t and these various xi. I. Then there's an obvious bad set of places. We look at any finite set of places containing this bad set. And we assume we're given local solution of this system for v and s and an epsilon positive. Then we can find a t0 in k, which is very close to the tv corresponding to the local solution at v and s. And so that for V not in S, if the relation of T0 minus CI is strictly positive, then this V admits, a, uh, uh, there's a place of Li, the Li corresponding to DEI, which is of degree one over V. Okay. So one thing I didn't say this morning is uh, when this is known. So there's, uh, uh, so it's known. If uh, D is at most two, okay, fine, that's not great. But then there's a big theorem. There's a theorem of Lillian Matheson, which builds up upon the Green Tower Ziegler technique which is that if k equals q, hw is, is a theorem. And this hypothesis hw here, hypothesis hw is a theorem. Okay, so, it's, so it's proved when k equals q, this ei are in q, this ci in q, and li over q is any, any type of, any field extension, not a cerebinian. Okay. And so the outcome of this is that this morning I wrote the theorem of Harpers and Wittenberg on the main theorem on rational points which they obtained, which is that modulo the hypothesis HW. So this is a, a bit ambiguity here. So I should give it another name. Yeah, yeah. Modulo this hypothesis HW, which you have over there. If we have a vibration over P1K, in two rationally connected varieties, geometrically rationally connected variety. If there's no Brahmani abstraction for the total space, so if we have an Adela which is orthogonal to the whole power group of X, then we can find a fiber, a smooth fiber, for which there is no Brahmani abstraction in the fiber. That is, the fiber has points ever locally, and moreover, there's an adelic point which is orthogonal to the power group of the fiber. And so that's the theorem with a star, but if K equals Q, this is an unconditional theorem, thanks to the result by Matheson. So, so, um, so I mean, uh, so, uh, example. So, just one, one second. I'll just get examples. So, 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 for example. This handles completely equations of the shape norm k over q 
of uh, whatever equals product t minus ei, i is one to d, where k over q is any, any field extension. So for a variety like this, so let's call it psi here, uh, this is a different answer, u. So if I take u in x, well, in this case, x of q, this is a theorem, x of q top is equal to x of a q bar x. So theorem. And again, this is very striking because the number of possible bad fibers is, is arbitrary. The d is arbitrary here. So this, this is the thing which I should have said this morning because I was on rational points. Uh, the topic uh, of the lecture today is to shift from rational points to zero cycles. So what are zero cycles? So you have a variety x over a field k. Well, for the time being, the field is arbitrary. Uh, a zero cycle is a formal combination, finite, well, ni, pi, where the ni are in z, ni is zero for almost all i, which is a finite sum, and pi is a closed point of x. Okay, so the closed point of x means that it's a sub-variety of x of dimension zero. Okay. So it, uh, it has a residue field. So you have a, if you have a closed point, you have the residue field, Kfp, residue field, which is a finite extension of k. And then you can define the degree with respect to k of your divisor, sum ni pi, as the sum of the ni degree of k of pi over k in z. That's the definition. So, for instance, quite, uh, an interesting problem is given a variety, so problem, given a k variety, well, two problems. Is x of k not empty? Well, as we've seen in many lectures, this is a not a simple problem. And so because it's a difficult problem, you try to replace it by a simpler one. And so you ask, is, is there a zero cycle z in z0, it's called z0 of x, of degree one? That is, so sum nipi ni pi with sum ni k of pi over k is equal to one, which is completely equivalent with the question, we have this variety x over k, and we ask whether the GCD of the finite extensions over which the variety acquires a rational point is equal to one. Okay. Of course, if you have a rational point, certainly it's one, but, uh, and uh, you should be warned that, in fact, there are many examples of varieties for which uh, the answer to this is yes, when there's, whereas there is no rational point. But they are not equivalent, these two questions. And so the, the, this, the okay, so this is, this, we have this question. Now, one can define, if we know over a number field, so, so one thing I should say, one, one more thing is, if x over k is projective, proper if you want, uh, you can consider the notion of rational equivalence on z0 of x. So, um, um, suppose I have a, a curve C lying in x, and I have a function f in the function of that curve. I can look at the divisor on C of, of f. So the curve might be singular, but it's possible to define the divisor as a zero cycle. So that's, that's a, a, an element in the zero cycle of C which maps to zero cycles of x. Now you decide that these cycles are zero. Okay, you get rid of them. So, uh, so th these, these span the group of zero cycles rationally equivalent to zero. 
And the quotient is, is denoted C H of X. Okay, that's uh, we're over in any field. We have this. Now it is possible we had a pairing with when a variety of a field K and an element in the bra of X, we saw how we can evaluate an element of bra of X at a K point. Where you can pair with zero cycles also. So you can pair zero cycles in the following fashion. So we're going to pair Z0 of X with the bra group of X and land in the bra of K. In the following fashion, it's linear, it's, 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 uh, it will be bilinear. And you send it to some Ni co-restriction K of Pi over K of alpha evaluated at Pi. So you can evaluate your alpha at this close point. So you get an element of bra of fine extension of K. You take the norm down to K. And the fact is that if, because if X is projective, which is the case here, this induces a pairing, a bilinear pairing, between CH0 of X and the bra of X. Okay, so this extends the pairing with an X of K cross bra of X to bra of K. Now, uh, now we're in, in, a, in, in a position to define the analog of the bra manual abstraction, for, this time for zero cycles. Because uh, there's a natural map from C0 of X to the product of the C0 of X cross KKV, all V. And then you can pair this with HOM, bra of X, Q mod Z. So the, now we're over a number field. Okay, K is a number field. X over K is projective and smooth. So there's a, there's a complex. So yeah, exactly for the same reason. I mean, this because, because simply the, the composition bra of K goes to direct sum, bra of KV goes to Q mod Z is a complex. This is zero. So this implies that here we have a complex. And now there's a, a conjecture which was put forward in the case of, uh, well, okay, I'll write the conjecture and make some comments afterwards. So conjecture, first of all, given an abelian group A, you define A hat as the projective limit of the A over N. Okay. The inverse limit of the A mod N. So, so the conjecture is the, says the following, is that this complex here induces an exact sequence, a delve of completions. So here we have a modified product, C0 of X cross KKV hat goes to HOM prog of X Q mod Z. So the, this little dash here has to do with uh, the real places and the complex places where you have to do a small modification, which I don't want to discuss. Okay, so the dash has to do with dash uh, because of the Archimedean places. And basically, a basic fact is that, uh, for instance, if you have a, a variety of the rails, and you have them in the bar group, it won't be able to tell the difference between two rail points which are in the same connected components because it's constant on the, on the rail points of a rail connected components. So you have to smash this down if you want to make any real connection. So this is a conjecture. And so, well, it's due, uh, and, I mean, okay, so it's a combination of people, so uh, Sansuke and myself, and Kato and Saito, and it took some time before people dared phrase it so clearly. So this goes back to things uh, in the 80s. So comments about this conjecture. The conjecture is that, sorry, this is an exact sequence. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. So it says that if you have a family of local cycles, which are also going to the bra group, then in fact there's a global 
I mean, up to this hat business, which you have to go through. Uh, intuitively, that's what it says. It comes from, now, of course, it doesn't say that because it's just like the topological thing we had with X of K sitting in front of X of KV, you had to take the topological closure. X of K in general is much too small to sit in this X of KV, which are very thick. So it's an exact sequence, thank you. So this conjecture, so comments about this conjecture, is that uh, if the dimension of X is one, so we have a smooth projective curve, then uh, Sha of G of X finite, J is the Jacobian, implies the conjecture. Okay, so, so I mean, that's a, then you're in different part of the world, you have people who try to prove that chi is finite. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, uh, then the first big, uh, so in fact it was, so in the case of geometrically rational surfaces, so I and I put forward this conjecture, and then we proved it uh, with Swin Lair in a very special case of Chatelet surfaces. But then Zalberger, uh, had a very nice idea, uh, one, one of many. And uh, in 1988, uh, he proved the theorem, that theorem, this conjecture holds for any conic bundle over P1K. So you have a surface which is fibered over P1K, and the fibers are conic, then that's a theorem. So, um, before I, 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 so I want to, I cannot resist trying to give proofs in each lecture, uh, as you may have observed. Um, so, uh, before I say that, let me uh, mention one, con one special case of this conjecture. So the conjecture, uh, call it, maybe some people call it E, and this is the best way to look at the, how this conjecture, uh, I mean, about the, the story of this conjecture and how it's phrased and all that, and this hat in particular, is in the paper by Wittenberg, which I quoted this morning. So this is in Duke Mathematical Journal two, two years ago. So the conjecture E implies conjecture E1, which is simpler to understand, because there's no hat. The conjecture E1 says that if there exists a family ZV of zero cycles XKV of degree one, such that for all alpha in bar of X, sum of alpha ZV is equal to zero in Q mod Z, then there exists a zero cycle of degree one. Okay, so there's no fancy hat stuff in this, in this conjecture. Three. Yeah, if you have family zero cycle of degree one, which is orthogonal to the Brouwer group, then there should be a zero cycle of degree one on your variety. And so what I want to do now, in this attempt to, to, to give one proof, is to sketch uh, Zalberger's idea. In a, in a, in a special case. So Zalberger's proof. Now, observe that uh, here this statement, I, I showed you before that for rational points, if you believe in Shinsen hypothesis, you have a theorem like this for rational points, but here there's no Shinsen hypothesis. So, this, so Zalberg got rid of this Shinsen hypothesis for this, provided you move to zero cycles. Okay. So, uh, so in the special case I'm going to consider, I'm going to consider y squared minus az squared, as usual, equals P of T, where P, uh, so it's a very special case, A is in K star, and P of T in K of T is irreducible. Okay. So, uh, okay, so we assume that we have a zero cycle, so, uh, okay, um, how should I put it? Um, so the, the, you define S, Obvious bad set of places. So, and I'm going to prove. So, this is U. 
define Bayes' equation, and assume that the product of the U of KV is not empty. I hope you remember from previous lectures that under the assumption that P of T is irreducible, the bar group of this is trivial. So what we have to prove in this case is that if we have an information ever locally, then we have one globally, because there's no bar group obstruction in this case. Thus, this bar of X is reduced to bar of K. So, uh, so I, I'm going to very, uh, make a very simple, so I assume that I have local points ever locally, and I want to disuse that there exists a zero cycle of degree one globally. Okay. So, uh, I define S, as usual, the obvious set of uh, finest set of bad places. For the vibration, for for this surface, so all the primes which for which v of a is not zero, the places above two, the places above infinity, the places where p of t doesn't uh, nicely reduce to something separable over the finite field. Okay, so this is finite set. Okay. And for each v in s, I'm, I, I have my hypothesis. I have, I have a point, m v, which I product project to a point t v. Now this point will P as a degree, let's call it uh, D. Now over the local field, there are lots of local points, okay? So I can produce a number of points close to this one, project down, down here, local points, and I'm going to produce, uh, I'm going to be interested in any, I fix N, a positive integer bigger than D. I pick n of these points. So I pick n local points on the P1, distinct, such that the fiber has a point over KV. Now, I can describe this set of n points by a polynomial, as we learned today, okay, and even a monic polynomial, ZV of T, corresponding to the, these zeros, so ZV of T. ZV of T is split, and uh, uh, it's split, and it's, it's split as a product of t minus tv t, t, v, uh, i, and over each tv there's a kv point. Okay. Now, for good measure, I choose a v zero not in S, such that g v zero of t is irreducible. That's the, that's a technical point, and k v zero of t. Okay, and now I do the following. I take, uh, um, I divide, so I, I look at this of G, G, V of T, and I apply Euclidean division by the point P of T. So G, V of T has degree N, bigger than P. So I divide this, I get P of T times R, V of T. So I hope my notation are probably going to say Q, V of T, sorry. This is Q, V of T. So Euclidean vision, you get this is equal to P of T times, let me stick to my notation, Q V of T plus R V of T with degree of R V smaller than degree of P. Okay. okay and now I look at, uh, I define, so capital K is going to be uh, K of T divided by P of T. And I look at the class of RV of T in K times RKV. So RV of T gives me some class Xi V in capital K index V. Okay. So for each V in S. Okay. And, all, um, and, and it's in, in S union V0. And now we use zero clay. Okay, so here is the big uh, analytic tool used at that point. Use zero clay. And then you produce a Xi in K star, in capital K star, this extension, such that Xi minus, once more, I know what happens at the real places. Xi V is smaller than epsilon. And the divisor of Xi is a product of one prime times product Q and Q, uh, where these Qs are above S. 
and this is a unique prime. And moreover, I can choose this unique prime of absolute degree one over Q if I wanted, but what's, what's interesting to me is unique prime of degree one over K. Okay. Okay. Now this is the first thing. Now I, so I'm, I've done something with the RVs of T, so this, uh, so I, I get this psi in K star, and now this psi in K star, I can lift it to a polynomial in, in K of T. So this psi lifts to uh, an uh, R of T in K of T, okay? Uh, the unique polynomial which is of degree strictly smaller than P of T, which corresponds to the class psi in K. So I've been working on the R V of T, and now we work on the Q V of T. So Q V of T, the situation is simpler. We fix a place, so the V0, I should have said one thing about the V0, which I choose here. I choose V0 not in S, such that A is a square in K V0. Because of Chebot tariff, there are infinitely many places at my disposal, so I can choose to do that. Now I fix a place V1, not in S union V0, such that A is a square in KV1, same condition. Um, and then I use strong approximation on the fine line to find uh, Q of T in K of T, monic, very close to each QV of T for V in S union V0. Oh, actually, I don't care about V0. And integral away from S union V0 union V1. So, from our approximation, I remind you what it is. You, are, you have a number field K, and uh, so you have the Chinese remainder theorem. Chinese remainder theorem is the strong approximation for Q when you omit the place at infinity. Now, quite generally, if you take any number field uh, K and you fix a place, V whatever, V0, and you give yourself elements in KV for V different from V0, you can find an element psi in, in, your, in your number field, which is very close to these elements, and which is integral away from the, the, the places where you approximate in your number place V0. So that's what we're using here, strong approximation on K, on each coefficient of the polynomial QV. Okay? So now we, have, we, now we define G of T, equals P of T, Q of T, plus R of T. Okay, now at this point I have to ask, when do I finish? Uh, what time, I keep on forgetting. What is the time when I finish? 4.30. So, 4.30, 4 4 4 okay. Okay, so this polynomial is irreducible because it's very close to GV0, and GV0 is irreducible. So, uh, and now what I do is that I consider, consider the close point of P1 defined by G of T. Okay. And so uh, the, the equation U square minus AZ square, the close point M equals P of T, I look at the fiber above the point M. That is, I look at P of T modulo G of T. So the fiber is Y square minus AZ square equals rho over the field uh, K of T divided by G of T, K of M, where rho is the class of P of T in this quotient. And the claim is that this conic over the field K over the field K of M has a rational point. So claim uh, y square minus z square equals rho over K, oh, not K, uh, over K of M 
as a key of endpoint. Proof. Okay, we just have to check that it has points in all the completions. Okay, so if V is not in S union V0 union V1, uh, either by good reduction or because we're very, uh, by good reduction argument, sorry, by good reduction, the, the row is a unit in the completion. A is a unit in the completion, so this conic has a point. So this good reduction. If V is in S, V is V0 or V1, this is trivial because A is in KV square in that case. We choose the V0 and the V1 so that A was a square there. Uh, I'm missing one, one Oh, I'm missing one prime here, which is the prime which we had created here. There's this P. So if V is in S, there is, there is a KV point. Because our equation is very close to the equation over KV which we had, and we, were, we had started with conics which had points in each KV. There's a KV point by approximation. And then the point is that, so now we have this conic, and so let me make a, a last draw, a drawing, is that we have, um, so this is spec, spec OS, union V0, union V1. This is P1K over the field K. This is P1 over this, and then here we have the bad set S union V0, union V1. The prime P, so I should have said V is not in S, union P, okay, that's fine. So what we have arranged with this game of choosing this Xi with a unique prime is that if you look at the point M, which is given by G of T equals zero, so which is et al at this part, which is whatever it is at the bad set, we don't care, and we look at at p of t equals zero, and we extend over the, I'm going, this drawing is going to be a, a bit of a trouble, but anyway, we extend it uh, over spec OS. Well, these two sub-schemes of dimension one of your P1 OS meet at just one point. Just one point, okay, that's the, that's the prime P. And so the conclusion is that the, uh, the conclusion that y square minus az square equals rho has points in all completions of k except possibly one, namely uh, this kp. But then we know by S's argument that it has points in the last one and also globally. Okay, so has solutions. So the conclusion is that X has a K of M point, and this thing is of degree capital N, but the N was arbitrary. So I can take N, I can take N plus one, and then I get a zero cycle of degree one. Okay, so we have a zero cycle of degree one. So the trick is, you, for rational points you're in trouble, but if you take a sim sufficiently big, then you get a rational point. So, okay. So the the comment about this is that it's there's still the same criticism about. So it's a beautiful result, and it's been expanded. So over the after Zabaga did this. Uh, uh, several people, uh, including uh, Skorbogadov, Sundar, and me, extended that to more general situations. But there was still this criticism that we had the splitting, con the abelian splitting condition. So this was extended. Request to P1K with one abelian splitting condition. and two fibers 
over any closed point, over most closed point, satisfy a sub principle plus weak approximation. Okay. So some criticism. Can you do without this? So this is where uh, Arpas and Wittenberg have uh, made a big progress. And they have proven a totally unconditional uh, theorem for, for zero cycles. So I repeat, for, for rational points, they have a conditional theorem depending on this hypothesis HW, which in certain cases becomes unconditional when you're over Q. But here we have unconditional theorems over any number field. So theorem. So let x to p1 k b, so k is a number field, be a vibration in two rationally connected varieties. Um, if um, if for all m, for almost all m, but let's say for all m in P1 of k with the fiber smooth, xm smooth, we know that xm of k of m top is equal to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, this, what I was about to write is correct, but uh, it's, it's much better. For, uh, for all those points, conjecture holds. Then E holds for X. Okay, so if you have a family of connected, Russian connected varieties, if the fibers belong to a class for which you have already proved conjecture E, then you get it for the total space. And similar result with, for existence of a zero cycle of degree one. So the, the, you can see the progress is that uh, there is no abelian splitting condition. Uh, we've forgotten about uh, imposing the, the asset principle and we have in the fibers. Okay. Yeah? I'm sorry? For all M in P1K with XM smooth, E holds. E holds for XM. So XM is a, is a variety over the field K of M. Okay? So E makes sense for this variety. So we want this. So. Uh, so we can, I can try to sketch, well, I'm not going to sketch much, but uh, just compare what was the progress, okay? So let's say I have a table here. And so we have the situation with rational, so this is say, before 1998, and uh, this is 2014. So uh, here I have the situation for rational points. So we had uh, Schinzel uh, plus reciprocity plus uh, formal lemma. And then we get results for x goes to P1k, say with fibers uh, rationally connected to, to make simple, but abelian splitting. So I always assume that in the situation where it's vibration to rationally connected varieties. Okay, and then for rational points, there is also, uh, if we use reciprocity, uh, so I'm sorry, so this, sorry, this is zero cycles now. If we use uh, well, I mean reciprocity, so this, this argument going back to Hasse, plus formal lemma in the context of zero cycles. Then we get a result for x goes to P1k with abelian splitting. And if Hasse principle plus weak approximation in the fibers. So we get the conjecture E for that. 
E4 for this. So this is what we could do. And now the situation now is that for rational points, the, the um, Schinzel hypothesis has been replaced by this hypothesis of Harpers and Wittenberg, which I've discussed, plus the formal lemma for torsors and the tori. Okay. And then we get, from this, we get x goes to p1k, so modulo this conjecture, modulo this hypothesis. So it's a star theorem, if you want. Uh, we get x over p1k, and now we, uh, and, and there's no, uh, there's no condition here. Okay. There's no abelian splitting condition. This has disappeared. Okay. I'm sorry? Yeah, I, I, I said, I said from, I, I, for simplicity, in this slide, uh, it's always rationally connected fibers. I mean, the Austria is more general, but I, I don't want to, you know, I don't have time to rationally connect it. So for all this, it's rationally connected varieties. Okay. Um, and then, now, for zero cycles, what we have here is that now this is becoming the theorem is becoming unconditional, and so here you have something that replaces HW, but which is an easy HW, and which I will write down on the next slide. Easy, easy HW is a hypothesis, which is a, it's an easy lemma, which replaces this, plus the same tools, formal lemma for under tori, okay. Uh, plus an elaborate version of Zalberger's trick. So here, anyway, we have Zalberger's trick, which we have seen. This was this Euclidean division and approximating these polynomials, plus elaborate version of Zalberger's trick. And then we get conjecture E for X, if known for the fibers. Okay, so that's uh, the situation. And so, uh, well, let me quote one application of, uh, okay, uh, so, I, I, so I, I want to say a word about the easy lemma. So the easy HW lemma. So you take capital K over K finite extension of number fields. Okay, uh, S in omega finite set of places. V in S, you take a psi V which is a norm, local norm, for free in S, and you fix epsilon positive, then there exists a psi in K star, such that psi minus psi V is smaller than epsilon for V in S, including, in fact, the, the Archimedean places, and for all V not in S, uh, uh, V of psi equals zero, or there exists a W of K of degree one over V. Okay. And moreover, if V zero is a place of that kind, so if V zero is split, say, in capital K, one may take a psi uh, integral away from V0. So it looks a bit like the hypothesis uh, we had for this hypothesis HW, which we use for rational points, but in fact it's much simpler. It, the proof only uses strong approximation. In the number field, little k. And so uh, this is a, I mean, it's very simple. In fact, the proof is a couple of lines, but it's uh, extremely useful 
because it is the thing that replaces uh, um, uh, this hypothesis HW or synthesis hypothesis in this setup. Okay. So I'll finish by mentioning uh, an, an example of a corollary of the, of the theorem. So corollary. Also, I'll pass Wittenberg. So this, this, this is the theorem. Okay, theorem. I, I really, I shouldn't write HW for a conjecture and for a theorem at the same time, but that's, that's okay. A corollary. Suppose you have X goes to P1K, uh, a dominant morphism, and the joint fiber X eta is K of P1 birational to uh, uh, homogeneous space of uh, k of t, k of p1 linear algebraic group with connected stabilizers, then E holds for x. So we have this family of varieties which are birational to homogeneous spaces of connected algebraic with special, and, the, and the, the groups vary. I mean, they are KFP1 groups, okay? So the coefficients of the groups vary. We're not making an assumption about uh, what the bad fibers look like. Uh, there is no business with abelian splitting. So this is proof completely, completely in general. And so that's a quite uh, spectacular. So this uses, so there's a, uses the fact that if X contains E, this is over K now. So we have to know the hypothesis for the fibers. So we have to know that conjecture E holds for the fibers. Okay? So what I told you at some point in the, uh, is that for rational points, Borovoy proved that Parman abstraction is the only one for such varieties over a number field. So you have to deduce that from the fact that you know it for rational points that you know it for zero cycles. Zero cycles in principle is easier. Okay. But in fact, there's a mechanism for, for doing this. So if X contains E, and E is a, is a, is a homogeneous space of G over K, a connected linear, with this condition and the connected stabilizers, uh, then a conjecture, sorry, E is a bad notation, but never mind. Conjecture E holds for X, that is, from Borovoy's result on rational point, one can deduce the result for zero cycles, and this is work of Yong Chi Yong. So it's a very nice trick of uh, replacing. The, we've seen this trick in a different context. Uh, to prove this, he replaces x by x cross p one, and he works on x cross p one. So it's a, you always doubt that you're going to, <laughs> to do something by replacing x by x cross p one, but it works. And so I think finishing on this uh, this corollary is uh, the right place. Yeah. All right. Okay.